good morning my dear students here in this class we are going to discuss about the thevenin's theorem so first of all what is the statement any two terminal linear network having a number of voltage comma current sources and resistances can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit consisting of a single voltage source in series with a resistance where the value of the voltage source is equal to the open circuit voltage across the two terminals of the network and resistance is equal to the equivalent resistance measured between the terminals with all the energy sources are replaced by their internal resistance that means here number if the number of voltage or current sources and resistors those will be replaced by just only one circuit will be there in that circuit one voltage source is in series with the one resistor it will be replaced where voltage source will be replaced by short circuit and current source will be replaced by short circuit or otherwise internal resistances so by means of one example we will see here here in the thevenin's theorem he has given that 10 voltage source he has given and 2 ohm source uh, 2 ohms and 12 ohms and 24 ohms is the 20, he has the 24 ohms is the load resistor what you need to find out find out the current through the passing through the 24 ohm resistor in the above circuit by using thevenin's theorem he has given that means in order to find out the current through 24 ohm resistor this total circuit has been converted into one voltage source which is in series with the one resistor that voltage source can be called as a thevenin's voltage and that resistance can be called as the thevenin's resistance so here first process what is the first process first of all we need to open the 24 ohm resistor and then after that you need to find out the across that terminals thevenin's voltage and in the next case across that terminals you need to find out thevenin's resistance and finally you need to find out il value so thevenin's theorem what is the statement here that means here this is the circuit this is the circuit in this one thevenin's voltage and that means we are going to convert total circuit into thevenin's voltage thevenin's voltage and thevenin's resistor and automatically this rl will be replaced here to find out the v thevenin's first step what is the first step you need to open the a uh, open the load resistor so if you open the load resistor the circuit will become like this that means 10 voltage source as it is 2 ohms and 20 12 ohms will be there and is to find the uh, v thevenin's what you need to find out of v thevenin's v thevenin's means across the terminals you need to find out across the terminals means the drop across the 12 ohm resistor you need to find out what is the drop across the 12 ohm resistor current multiplied by 12 ohm resistor what is the current you need to find out current is equal to 10 divided by 2 plus 12 into that current that current is equal to v12 that means here you can get v thevenin's is equal to v thevenin's is equal to current multiplied by 12 and current is equal to 10 divided by something that you can get finally v thevenin's is equal to 8.57 you will get and is to find the r thevenin's first of all in order to find out the r thevenin's so voltage source should be short circuited current source should be open circuited then automatically you Uh, here our thevenin's will be like this then both are connected in parallel then 1.71 ohm you can get and next final th- uh, final case what is the case 3 case in, in the case 3 you need to find out il value in order to find out the il value you need to play, replace v thevenin's value like this and r thevenin's value like this then again your 24 ohm load resistor can be replaced then what is the il value il is equal to v thevenin's divided by r thevenin's plus rl then of il is equal to 0.33 amperes you can get in this way you can find out case 1 case 2 case 3 in the case 1 uh, you can find out v uh, v thevenin's in the case 2 uh, r thevenin's in the case 3 you can find out il that is the of thevenin's theorem and next theorem is uh, by means of thevenin's theorem find out the current through the resistor in the following circuit here just replaced the uh, 36 volts uh, that means voltage source has been replaced you need to find out the current through the 12 ohm resistor so in which way you can see here first what you need to do in the case one you need to replace rl okay in the case one you need to replace rl uh, that means open the rl then you need to find out v thevenin's that v thevenin's is equal to the current multiplied by 6 ohm multiplied by 6 
and next current that current is equal to V divided by 36 divided by 3 plus 6 you can get I is equal to 4 amperes you can get and to find out the earth weakness what you need to find out uh, in order to find out the earth weakness voltage source should be short circuited then automatically the resistors are connected in parallel then 6 ohm earth weakness is equal to like this and the next case 3 in the case 3 you need to find out IL value that means by again simply uh, substituting this value 24 ohms IL is equal to 0.33 amperes you can get so these are the two examples for the Thevenin's theorem and the next theorem is uh, the simply simply in simple words this Thevenin's theorem simply V Thevenin's you need to find out okay V Thevenin's you need to find out R Thevenin's you need to find out and finally IL you need to find out these are the three cases you need to perfect in the with respect to the Thevenin's theorem. And coming to Nata's theorem, what may be the total theorem statement? Okay, in this Nata's theorem, total theorem statement is the same as it is of the Thevenin's theorem only. In the Thevenin's theorem, you have replaced the total circuit by total circuit total circuit by V Thevenin's. Total circuit by V Thevenin's is in series with the R Thevenin's and finally RL you have replaced. But here, in this case, just same as it is, but here, what you need to take is that we in, the, in place of V Thevenin's, Norton's current I Norton's will be there, and next I Norton's current, okay, I Norton's current will be there, and last one is I R L will be as it is, okay, R L will be as it is, here you need to find out I F. Here, R Norton's R Thevenin's is as it is, same as it is. So, simply what is the basic difference between this Thevenin's theorem and current uh, Norton's theorem is nothing but there in the Thevenin's theorem voltage source and uh, Thevenin's V Thevenin's R Thevenin's will be there here I Norton's and uh, uh, I Norton's and Norton's resistance will be there whereas where Norton's resistance is equal to Thevenin's resistance by means of one example we will see by using Norton's theorem find out the current passing through the 6 ohm resistor ok find out the current passing through the 6 ohm resistor that means here what you need to find out in the case 1 same as it is first case what you need to do you can open the 6 ohm resistor then you need to short that uh, open terminus then you need to find out I n across the terminus by means of shorting your voltage source and next R Thevenin's you need to find out and next IL you need to find out these are the three cases you need to perfect so coming to Norton's theorem so in which way you will see so to find out the Norton's theorem first what you need to do you need to open the terminus in the case one and next the open terminus you need to short the terminus so by means of that one I Norton's you need to find out I Norton's is equal to total voltage divided by total resistance that means if you are taking uh, this Norton's I not as current always choose the low resistance path so that's why here this resistor can be shortened then automatically I not as is equal to 4 amperes you can get next in the to find out the R thevenin's R thevenin's is equal to R thevenin's is equal to R not as and next what you need to do uh, short by shorting the voltage source then you can find out R not as is equal to 3.33 ohms you can get that is the first and next one, uh, final final circuit final circuit is current source this current source is in parallel with the which current source here Norton's current source which is in parallel with the Norton's resistance and which is in parallel with the RM then by simply substituting I Norton's is equal to 4 amperes R Norton's is equal to 3.33 amperes and RL is equal to 6 ohm then automatically you need to find out according to current division principle IL is equal to total current multiplied by opposite resistance divided by total resistance in that branches then you can find out the answer Okay, you can IL is equal to oh, sorry 1.43 amperes. You can get okay. IL is equal to 1.43 amperes. You can get so here for the next problem, not as theorem by using the not as five theorem, find out the current through the 8 ohm resistor. To find out the first, what you need to do open the low terminals and next at the terminals, you need to short and IN you need to find out in order to find out IN 25 divided by 6 ohm will be nullified 25 divided by 2. Okay, here 25 divided by 2. Okay, 25 divided by 2, which you can get to 12.5 amperes. Okay, here somewhat mistake is there. 25 divided by 2 is equal to 25 12.5 uh, amperes. And then after that, R not as R not as is equal to 2 into 6 divided by that means these two are connected in 
these two uh, these two are connected in parallel so that's why here you can get 1.5 ohms will be the answer and next finally what you will get the answer is finally what you can get the answer is here to find out the ir here 12 in place of 3.12 12.5 .5, please replace 12.5 12.5 multiplied by 1.5 divided by 1.5 plus 8 that will be is equal to 1.97 answer is 1.97 amperes so coming to maximum power transfer theorem so in this theorem it states that maximum power is delivered from a source to a load when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance that means what is the statement you need to remember statement is it states that maximum power is delivered from a source to a load when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance. That means whenever the load resistance is equal to the RL is equal to the RS, then maximum power from the source can be delivered to that respective load. That is the that is the one definition of the maximum power transfer theorem. And the next definition is a resistive load will abstract maximum power from a network when the load resistance is equal to the resistance of the network as viewed from the output terminals with all the energy sources removed leaving behind their internal resistances so here you can observe that by means of this theorem resistive load will abstract maximum power whenever a load resistance rl is equal to the resistance of the network rs and energy sources are removed energy sources are removed by uh, the layered internal resistance means uh, voltage source will be short circuited and the current source will be uh, open circuited so examples for this one is first first we will see the examples for the first definition what is the first definition it states that maximum power is delivered from a source to a load when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance but here one more thing uh, what is the proof for this one rl is equal to rs so the proof for this one we will see now first so here coming to this theorem maximum power transfer theorem this is the circuit assume that here it is a voltage source vs and rs and rl will be the load resistor what about the current current is equal to i is equal to vs divided by rs plus rl what about the power loss power is equal to the power is equal to the i square into rl which is nothing but by substituting i value v s square divided by rs plus rl whole square into rl that is the power and next so whenever you are according to the mathematics okay according to the mathematics fundamentals fundamentals whenever you are going to find out maximum uh, values so here that you need to differentiate you need to differentiate that equation with respect to the some parameter here that parameter here is rl dp divided by drl is equal to zero by means of that one by simplifying what you can get means here simply and one more thing here d by dt of u by v formula i have used by means of this formula what you can get here this uh, parameter you can get and uh, next by equating to zero you can get rs is equal to rl and next by applying the condition okay by applying that condition well, rs is equal to rl then what you can get vs square into rl divided by rs plus rl whole square then what you can get vs square into rl divided by 4 rl square finally what will be the formula p is equal to e square divided by 4 rl or e square divided by 4 ri you can replace and next the by means of example we will see now what is the first one determine the value of the load resistance when the load resistance draws maximum power and also find out the maximum power that means determine you need to determine the value of the load resistance when the load resistance draws the maximum power and also find the maximum power that means by means of seeing the diagram you can say simply when it will draw maximum power whenever load resistance is equal to source resistance by means of that one here source delivers maximum power when rl is equal to rs source delivers maximum power when rl is equal to rs which is nothing but rs is e rl is equal to 25 ohms so that means you have found that rl is equal to 25 ohms you have found and next uh, next you need to find out current value current is equal to 50 divided by 25 plus rl that will be is equal to 1 ampere you can get 
you need to get the maximum power now when you can get the maximum power whenever rl is equal to rs you can get the maximum power that will be is equal to i value i1 into 25 that will be is equal to 25 watts will be the maximum power this is the first example of the maximum power transfer theorem and the next example is determine the value of the load resistance so when the load resistance draws maximum power also find out the maximum power so here this is the case in this case 120 volts he has given 30 ohms resistor and rl he has given according to this theorem here rl is equal to rs here rs he has given 30 ohms so that's why rl is equal to 30 ohms and next current value is equal to v divided by rs plus rl there you can get a 1 by 2 ampers and next maximum power delivered to the load is equal to op is equal to i square rl which is nothing but 7.5 watts you can get and the next one is for the circuit shown find out the current through the rn when it takes the values of the 10 ohms and 50 ohms and also calculate the value of the rl for which the power dissipated in it would be maximum and find the find this power so you need to find out the rl value okay rl value you need to find out by means of the thevenin's theorem sorry by means of here we are using the thevenin's theorem helper in which way we will see that means first this circuit will is going to be converted into the total circuit complex circuit is going to be converted into like this v thevenins and r thevenins which is in series with the rm so in order to find out the v thevenins what you need to do you need to open the load register and then after that you need to find out the thevenins voltage by means of thevenins voltage v thevenins is equal to voltage is equal to 40 volts you can get and by means of r thevenins R thevenins you can get 73.33 ohms so you can get and next one is here what is the thevenins uh, and what is the value finally you can simply substitute in the circuit V thevenins and R thevenins and RL RL here in the problem itself he told that RL is equal to 10 ohms so you need to substitute one case and RL is equal to 50 ohms so you need to substitute in the other case if RL is equal to 10 ohms you have substituted then what is the value 0.48 will be the answer and if RL is equal to 50 ohms is the, then what will be the value 0.32 will be the answer and next you need to find out maximum power also what is the maximum power if rl is equal to ri then automatically you can get the maximum power so that's why rl is equal to 73.33 ohms you can get maximum power you need to according to this theorem what is the value you have found voltage value now so that's why v thevenins square divided by 4 ri that means 40 square divided by 4 multiplied by 73.33 that will be is equal to 5.45 watts you will be the answer Similar to the same case here also for the given circuit calculate the value of the RL for which the power is dissipated in wood will be maximum find out the maximum power. So here he has given that 100 volts this total circuit also will be converted into V thevenins is in series with the R thevenins is series with the RL and after that V square divided by V thevenins square divided by 4 RL you need to substitute. This is the homework problem.